Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add LUTs to your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is great because LUTs are what are known as lookup tables. All you have to do is drag and drop them onto your footage, and you can do color correction, color grading, and just, you know, a whole bunch of different sort of fun visual corrections and colors. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do. Let's get started. First thing you need to do is drag in some footage to color correct or color grade, and then you need to get the Lumetri color panel open. Easiest way to do that is to go up here to the color workspace. Just click on it and it'll open it up in the right side over here. If it still isn't open or you want it open in a different sort of workspace, go up to window, go down to Lumetri color and just open it up and put it wherever you want it to be. So there are two places that we can put a LUT. One of them is in basic correction right here in input LUT. And the other is creative, which is look. These are these have a very important distinction. And the distinction is that this LUT is going to be applied before all of the color correction, while this LUT is going to be applied after all the color correction. So that means this LUT is best for doing color correction sort of things, and this one is best for doing color grading sort of things. You can also have LUTs that you know sort of correct your footage. Um, by default, so let's say if you record on a GoPro or you record on you know a Nikon DSLR, there are LUTs out there to instantly make your footage just look better off of how those typically record. Um, however, you wouldn't want to put those over here because maybe you, you want to put that LUT on and then make a couple adjustments to make it look good, and then you want to go into the creative aspect. So for instance, let's say we wanted to use one of these universals down here, the ARRI universal. These are just the default ones that come with um, the uh, Premiere Pro. So let's go, I'm just gonna click on this one. And you can see what it's done is it's added some contrast, maybe reduced the saturation a little bit, um, sort of punched up the blacks a touch. And it's now this is a good base to sort of start with. This is, you know, maybe a color correction that I like a lot. And so it's now a LUT, I can just drag and drop it in. Now we can do some adjustments, you know, maybe we wanna bring the contrast back down a little bit, bring the shadows up some, and you know, maybe we, we think that looks good right there. And so now instead of having to, you know, um, do all of this by ourselves, creating it, moving it from that to this, we can just drop a LUT on there and we get that color correction sort of going. And now in the next step, we can sort of add a grade to it. So we can make it look, uh, you know, like a movie or make it look, you know, like it's in the matrix or a bunch of different sort of realms just by clicking this LUT and then we can, you know, sort of fine tune it a little bit later. You can download LUTs from offline. Uh, Premiere comes with a decent amount of just some basic LUTs that you can get started with. But there is a website right here. I'll put this link in the description below. It just has seven sort of movie look packs and they're all like sort of supposed to look like uh, a certain movie in here. They're fun to use, so free. All you gotta do is click this button and it's literally just gonna download it for you and then we can input them in here. So if we wanted to use one of the ones Premiere Pro has, we can just click on one of them. If we go, you know, SL Blue, we can see we get this sort of blue color in here. And now if we want to increase the intensity, we can make it, you know, really extreme like this. So we have this sort of neat contrast of the yellows and blues all coming together. Look through our footage and make sure it all looks good, but that looks like a really, really neat grade. And you know, maybe you wanna add some black bars to the top and bottom. I think that would look kinda cool, like sort of Jason Bourne with this. But maybe we wanna use an outside LUT. To do that, we need to just click on either part. Uh, we can either do the basic correction or in creative. All we need to do is go up to the browse. Once you have selected the browse, go to your downloads or wherever the LUT is, and then open it up, and you can see we have a bunch of them right here. And so we have Saving Pri Private Damon, which is you know Saving Private Ryan, The Matrices, The Matrix, um, and then a bunch of other sort of movie references that I maybe I haven't decoded just yet. But let's go with this, The actually let's go with the matrices one right here. Click on that and you can see it automatically gets this yellow tinge to it. Uh, you can see that maybe it's a little bit too intense, looks a little over the top. So we can go in here and we can drag down that intensity just a little bit. And then maybe, I don't know, we can add some effects afterwards. Tint the shadows, maybe a more green or maybe you can like offset it with a purple to sort of make your own sort of look to it. And now with just, you know, it took me 12 seconds, we now have this this really neat cinema, you know, cinema graphic, I guess you would say, look to it. It has the contrast, it has the feel, and if you put this over a whole movie, that whole movie would have that same sort of feel to it. Or we can, you know, just change it up. Let's go with this one instead. And now it suddenly has a different feel. It's a little bit more blue. We could change it up a ton by going to, let's go to Saving Private Damon. 
and now it like changes to this sort of a uh, lot less contrast, um, sort of more faded out. And you know, if we increase the intensity, now it's got that sort of really dark feel to it right here. Uh, feels like you know the World War II grunge sort of look to it. And that is how you add in LUTs. It's really, really simple. All you have to do is just, this is your correction LUT, this is your creative LUT, M you know, mess around with them, drag and drop them, and you can get some beautiful grades, some beautiful creative colors with just a click of a button. These work best when you have raw footage, which means that the footage comes in uncompressed, it has all the data with it, because the LUTs can grab more information to sort of manipulate. However, like this footage, this footage is not raw, it still comes out looking pretty good. Thanks, everybody. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.